Okay. So you know me, I'm Manthos, and uh, our first, uh, my first speaker for today is uh, Luke. Luke has been working for our space for 30 years, managing space flight dynamics uh, for, for operation to mission analysis. Uh, and he is developing building blocks for those things. So he's also in open source scene more than 20 years and uh, is the main de uh, developer and creator of Orekit, uh, Spaceflight Dynamics uh, Library, and uh, who is now used in a lot of uh, operational projects. So welcome, Luke. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. So I will try to speak to uh, you about it. It will be a short talk, I hope. <laughs> and uh, here is the agenda. I will talk about the changes in the, uh, we can see in the CubeSat project uh, from the initial uh, student project to more uh, developed uh, project. The fact that fly dynamic needs did evolve on the first CubeSat, well, there was almost no fly dynamics need. And in the future projects, some, uh, some needs arise. How can we solve this with uh, some open source, uh, open source product that exists? I will talk about uh, Orikid, but it's not the only, uh, the only one. And we will have a, a small conclusion. So from the beginning, the, the first difference that exists between CubeSat teams or CubeSat project and, uh, and big, big, uh, big uh, spacecraft project, big, for example, Earth observation or telecommunication uh, project is that for, for CubeSat, you have small teams, generally five, uh, ten people, teams around that are mainly uh, academic in the, from the academic fields. They are devoted to almost one instrument, one goal, the one mission, one satellite is one team and one, uh, one instrument. Everyone is focused on just on the instrument. What will the spacecraft do at the, at the end? What will it provide? What will it measure? Magnetometer? Uh, Whatever, whatever, whatever you, you like. And this is almost similar to what we see, we say in open source when we say that people are scratching their own itch. The, the development begins when someone has a need, has its own need, because he will be, uh, the, the, this guy or this girl will be the, the own user of their, uh, of their data source. They want something that works for, uh, for their team. On the other side, you have the, the classical uh, industrial or, um, or agencies uh, backed uh, operation for, uh, for a big satellite where you have a platform and one, two, ten, uh, twelve uh, instruments on the same platform. Then you have a lot of different, you have the platform itself and the instruments on top of it. You have one team for each part, you have one team for the instrument, for each one of the instruments probably in different, uh, in different countries, one team completely different from the platform. You may have one team for ground segment, and you may have one team inside the ground segment part that will do uh, the flight dynamics. You have several completely uncorrelated uh, teams. You do not have one team for coffee because everyone wants its own coffee, but uh, you could have. So you have different kind of team, mainly not, in, not interacting too much with, the, with each other. You have interface, con interface control document to, to control how the, the, they will exchange data. But apart from that, there are different teams. Another uh, difference is I will focus now on the flight dynamics part and the difference in between CubeSat and uh, big, uh, big project from the flight dynamic point, uh, point of view. Well, for CubeSat, as long as this does not fall, you don't care about flight dynamics. Someone launches the thing, hopefully it will uh, turn around the Earth. After some time, it will fall and it will be a busy end. But nobody cares about where it is exactly, except for the spacecraft TLA that you will get. That you will get. So you have no resource on your own team allocated for, this, um, for monitoring the spacecraft, and in fact, often do not even have the skills available in order to do the computation for the, for the spacecraft, so you do not have as a maneuver from now, and you just get from the internet, from the spacecraft site mainly, you will get the TLEs, and these TLEs will allow you to display some, uh, some ground track because you, 
obviously, if you, if you are in a space project, you have to display a ground track somewhere for the VIPs, otherwise it is not a space project. <laughs> for a big project, it's quite different. You may have a dedicated team, as I said before. You may even have up to precise orbit determination, not classical orbit determination, but some, some programs, some um, application needs precise orbit determination. And with POD, we, may, we mean about centimeter level accuracy. So when uh, you say your spacecraft is here, it is not here. Here is dif different, so you, so you have a quite a, a, an accurate uh, orbit determination. This requires a lot of uh, computation, a lot of team uh, of uh, skills in order to, to do that. You also have to change the position or to control the position of your, of your spacecraft. You have some station keeping to keep it on the same orbit, on the dedicated orbit, or unfortunately due to, due to debris, now you have to do some collision avoidance in the, in the space, just like on the road. Uh, you also have classical uh, application like event prediction and some housekeeping from housekeeping for the platform, wheels unloading, uh, this kind of, uh, this kind of st uh, st uh, the time synchronization between ground and board. You have some mission planning. So you have quite a, a number of uh, things to do that are related to uh, flight dynamics. The frontier, the boundary between these two worlds is now blurring. We still see a lot of CubeSat that are devoted to a student application to academic application. However, we also see CubeSat being used in much wider programs. So you, the, the frontier is not the same anymore. And some simple CubeSat applications do have more needs, and uh, some big projects need CubeSat and decided to use CubeSat. So the, you may need uh, this kind of uh, some part of the previous slide may shift from one uh, paragraph to another paragraph depending on, uh, depending on the mission. Now you s people are thinking about very high value, very highly accurate science being done with single or multiple uh, CubeSat, and uh, then you need a, a more precise uh, positioning. Some CubeSat may be used in order to test in flight some uh, new technology, so it's simpler, faster, and uh, less costly. Faster, better, cheaper. An old saying that uh, we do not uh, like anymore, but it is kind of uh, opening, opening uh, currently with the CubeSat and the um, new technology. And you also have new mission concepts. You do have some, uh, some formation flying occurring in CubeSat. Uh, we have the one, um, one example yesterday. Uh, we also have, I do work as, uh, on a constellation uh, involving, um, involving quite a number of, of CubeSat. And on the CubeSat by themselves, you do have new subsystem. You now have propulsion system and you have many GNSS, so a localization um, system. So, so what are the, the flight dynamics needs now for, the, for this kind of uh, application? If you want to do accurate high-level science and accurate science, you may need georeferencing, perhaps to the meter, perhaps to the centimeter. It depends on what you, on what you are doing. But using TLEs is clearly not, uh, not, uh, not possible anymore. You may need some relative positioning between the spacecraft. If you are doing, uh, we will not do something like a uh, chump or grass or some gravimetry-like uh, mission, but why not in the, in the future? This means that you, you have to position your, your uh, two or four spacecraft relative to one, uh, to one another. About the, the mission uh, we had yesterday on the L2 uh, Lagrange point, you have the two, uh, the calibration system and the spacecraft, uh, the main spacecraft, which need to be at uh, 300 meters, if I remember well. This is something uh, that needs uh, flight dynamics. You now have GNSS receivers that can do this kind of thing, on the lower orbit mainly, for either autonomous point positioning, so the, your receiver will provide you time position Sometimes velocity, time position, velocity, and an ephemeris, and you, get, uh, you have to filter around that, but uh, it is almost autonomous. Or you get the raw measurements, the fast and the code measurement from the GNSS receiver, and then you do the processing on board because you cannot do uh, such complex uh, computation on board. But then you will need some, you will get a very uh, accurate, um, accurate system. In this case, you will, do, you will need some external data that you gather on ground, and you need post-processing on ground in order to get, the, to get the mainly the phase measurements for, uh, for GNSS. And then you get centimeter level accuracy. But it is quite tough to do. 
For the maneuver, now the second part uh, in the flight dynamics that has, is changing from CubeSat point of view, the maneuver. Now the CubeSat may have some manu maneuvering. In the Fusion 12, from the um, specification, it was not possible to have something, a pressured vessel inside the CubeSat. It was uh, forbidden. So at that time, people think about feet pro, um, thrusters that do not have a, um, that do not have a pressurized uh, vessel. However, now it is possible to have some pressurized vessel. It is possible to have a, um, a propulsion system insta inside uh, a CubeSat. For maneuver, however, you need some dedicated uh, some dedicated service. You need orbit determination in order to do where you are before you know where you want to be and how you can do from E to here. And in some cases, if you have low thrust maneuver, and in the case of CubeSat, you will almost always have low thrust maneuver, the optimization is quite different from a classical impulse maneuver or chemical maneuver optimization. So it is also something that is quite uh, difficult to, to, uh, to do. Then, open source. Where open source can help here? Open source, for me, it is uh, community. It is. If you remember one slide from this presentation, it is this one. <laughs> community, community, community. It is, a, it is a, the, the best word for, for open source. So the community of our code is, a, is our uh, motto. It is a, it's a motto which uh, comes from the Apache Software Foundation. Uh, and uh, this implies that the skills and the people are important. I, I do believe it is true. Once in a former life, my boss, uh, told me there is no such thing as a flight dynamics um, community. I do not believe it is. Um, it is. Uh, I, I still believe it. I believe now it is false. And since we have developed our kit uh, since uh, ten years now, it has been open source si since ten years. Uh, we have seen that it is possible. There is a space flight dynamic community which is quite uh, welcoming and uh, warm and vibrant. So, it. Open source and flight dynamics can live uh, together. We have an example. And this, it is important to follow this community and to try to find some, uh, some big team of people who have the skill and who have the tool in order to help you uh, solve your, um, your flight dynamics problem. So here it uh, is a presentation about Orikit. I will skip this slide. It is not the important. I am not here to sell you Orikit. It is not the best thing if you want to, to go to, to AQLC. It is known, it, uh, it has a lot of uh, application. It can do centimeter level accuracy, it can do uh, GNSS, it can do uh, whatever you want, optimization, visibility. It is used by operational projects since uh, quite a number of years uh, now, and, and it runs from smartphone, smartphone to, um, to cluster if you, if you want. So, as a conclusion, uh, what we have, uh, I have tried to tell you is that the CubeSat now uh, focus on science data. Mainly the team are not flight dynamics uh, specialists. However, they do have flight dynamics needs. And in order to solve this flight dynamics needs, they may require the help from the, and seek the help from the existing flight dynamics uh, teams that can provide them with tools if they want to use them by themselves, if it's possible, or if they do not want to acquire the skills and, and they do have some needs from flight dynamics and require help, just as the community, uh, go to the, to the forum and, uh, and ask if you want uh, to have someone do some computation for you, uh, it is possible. We are, I think we are quite a, a vibrant uh, community and uh, we are helpful. Thank you for your attention. So, thank you, Luke. So, Red has the microphone. So, uh, <laughs> who has questions? Yeah. Is here one? Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Hi. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, I had a question. Uh, because uh, I, I sent two satellites in space uh, without any propulsion system, etc. And from time to time, we just receive. Uh, uh, conjunctions alert that there is some the dust will be just fly very close to our satellite and we just observe because we can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe, maybe there is some the idea that maybe we can do something, just rotate or 
I don't know, have you some, some ideas for, for, for a situation like this? If you do not have any propulsion system, it will be quite difficult because a congestion alert are a few days before, and if you only rely, for example, on the attitude and the um, uh, surface uh, forces like a solar radiation pressure and drag to help you move your spacecraft due only to the attitude, it will take too long. You will not be able to do, to, to do anything. So just uh, wait and see. <laughs> but if you, if you do have a propulsion system, yeah. yes, it is something that is, uh, that is done uh, a lot. Uh, uh, you do mainly uh, um, an in-plane correction in order to get to be late or in advance uh, with respect to the, the, to the, collision, uh, to the, the collision point. Uh, but this is a maneuver. You can do a few days ago, uh, before. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Could you um, go back to slide six? Six? Yes, sir. It's true that CubeSats are not just student projects anymore, but the CubeSats that are being done by um, industry and, say, NASA, they're CubeSats really in name only because on the inside they're just like the big projects, they're just as expensive, they're not modular, you know, they're, and their, their aim is to be reliable. The, the asset or the, the advantage for being a CubeSat for these is the exterior, the, the launch is easier, it's, a, it's a, a form factor. So I think the lines are a lot blurrier that a lot of things that look like CubeSats coming up right now, they're not really, they really are big projects. They're, I mean, so it's much harder to have a dichotomy like that, right? Yeah, the, everything is blurred. I, I agree, everything is blurred in the, in the situation. And in fact, um, I when I say that, for example, Here OSP is uh, well suited for, uh, for CubeSat, uh, it was not done for this beforehand. It was, not for, it was done for big projects, and it is used for big projects, and uh, multi-million uh, projects, and it is used operationally on a, on a lot of systems, but it can, scale up and down just as you want, so you can use the same tool for, uh, for this as for, uh, as for a big project. You can uh, choose whatever uh, scale, you, uh, scale uh, you want. But what I wanted to say is that see, it is not because it is a, a big software, a big, uh, a big piece uh, with a lot of equation and, um, and accurate model, etc. that you cannot use it in a small team. It's not too big for you. You can use it uh, if you want. Uh, uh, I even know someone who did uh, a game on a smartphone with, uh, with Origin. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and it's not a multi-million project. Hey, so I have a question. So we use um, Spanvis um, mm -hmm. for, for mission planning, um, but we cannot run it on our own server, so it's always just web-based. So is there any tool you would recommend that we can run on our own stations? <sighs> oh, you. Uh, Orikit will, uh, will be able to, to do the, that, but Orikit is, um, is mainly a library, so you have to build uh, the, your own system um, uh, with it. If you want to do some specific uh, computation in order to, uh, to, to, to solve your, your problem, you will have to, uh, <coughs> to call it, at least uh, call it, even from MATLAB, for, uh, for Python, from uh, whatever you want, uh, th there are some uh, interfaces. And this is a place where uh, the community can, uh, can help. Okay, thanks. And uh, I think uh, we're out of time, and it's perfect. Luke, thank you very much. <laughs>